guys what's up here is another baby update here is baby Zane he just had a bottle and is asleep so we are still working on the birth video I'm excited to get it up but because we've had kind of a rough start I haven't had a lot of time to do any vlogging which I know you guys completely understand so um, some things about Zane he weighed nine pounds two ounces was 21 and a half inches long um, I went in for a induction at 8 a.m. and I was put on Pitocin by about 2 o'clock he had um, moved up into my ribs and they were worried that he had flipped around and was breached so we had to get an ultrasound and the nurse couldn't tell whether for sure he was up or down so they actually took me off Pitocin and I walked around for about an hour I got to eat this was at about 3 o'clock about 3 30 um, they took one of the ultrasound techs from the hospital and they came up and they checked and he was head down so they put me back on Pitocin but I had to start all the way over um, and I had only progressed like two centimeters the whole time so it was not going super well um, my doctor came in to break my water at about four o'clock no I don't I actually don't know what time it was anyway he came in to break my water um, and we talked about an epidural right before then I decided not to get it right then he's kind of stirring um, but he broke my water and then my contractions started getting really strong and so I um, actually asked <laughs> you alright buddy? <laughs> so I actually asked to get the epidural pretty much as soon as they had finished breaking my water um, that took 15 minutes to get the uh, anesthesiologist there and then after he got the epidural going it took about 15 minutes for it to fully kick in and then the nurse checked me and I had moved from a 5 to a 10 in about 45 minutes so we were ready to push she didn't end up putting a catheter in she called the doctor and they did a clean catheter or I forget what it was called and the doctor came in about 30 minutes later and said I was at a plus two or he was at a plus two I guess actually and we pushed one practice push one real push and then a couple little pushes and he was here so pretty easy once everything got going it just took a while for everything to get going um, and then because he was so big and we'd had the scare with gestational light gestational diabetes before they actually tested his blood sugar before every feeding so for 24 hours I had to have them come in before I fed him every time but he was my first baby that actually latched right away we um, I got to hold him right after for a good five ten minutes before they even cleaned him up we did a delayed um, clamp on the cord and then Curtis got to cut the cord and it was all great he actually when he first came out he wasn't breathing but that was okay because he was still attached to the placenta and he looked up and lifted his head and the doctor's like he's not supposed to be able to do that but so he was wide awake and alert and then when they cut the placenta and he started breathing just fine they had to actually coax him to cry because he's been super calm but everything was going good we got discharged his levels for everything were all right his billy ribbon was a little high but they weren't super worried about it and then we went home and worked on breastfeeding and he actually ate really well um, 10 to 15 minutes per side all the time every two hours and we went into the doctor the next Tuesday and he had lost like half a pound so the doctor suggested that I do 
a weighted feed with my lactation consultant, which I did, and we found out that I was only producing about a half an ounce, which is half of what he actually needed, and that's why he was losing so much weight. So at this time too, when we went into the doctor, I said I was concerned about jaundice because his eyes were a little bit yellow, and so we did a bilirubin check, and um, then we went to the lactation consultant the next morning, and she told me that I was going to have to do a power pump session. So I was going to feed him with the STS, which is the formula um, attached to the nipple into the mouth for five minutes there. Then he'd eat from the breast only and then finish off the rest of the formula. So through the syringe or the tube into his mouth on my breast. Um, for the last 15 minutes so I'd eat for 30 minutes and then right following that I would need to pump 20 minutes on 10 minutes off 10 minutes on 10 minutes off 10 minutes on 10 minutes off so it would be an hour of pumping and then start all over again 30 minutes later and I needed to get supplements and we still had to feed him um, formula he would possibly need a surgery because the called your folliculum I don't know the uh, skin right below your upper lip was a little bit long and he had just had a circumcision the day before which was a another surgery and we got home and I was okay we can do this we'll do it and I was looking up places to get supplements and then I was in the middle of my second round of my power pumping and the doctor's office called and said his bilirubins were really high and that he needed to be on a billy light and they were sending one over right away and this is after we had a night where I just broke down and couldn't sleep and he was awake and I was sore my nipples both have nipple damage actually right now um, from him trying to latch and not being able to latch right and he wasn't getting enough food and I was I was full on into breastfeeding I wanted to do it and I just had a realization that the stress on me was gonna put stress on him and he already wasn't getting enough and I was already having to feed him formula that I would keep pumping but we were kind of done which is really hard for me but as soon as I made the decision I felt a hundred percent better I felt like I could do it. I felt like it was the right thing for him. So I know there are lots of breastfeeding mamas and that's great and that's what I wanted to do, but it wasn't going to work for me. My other two, I could only feed them for six weeks and I was really disappointed that this has only been like a week and a half and honestly, we've been, I've been still pumping and feeding him and my milk is almost gone and it's only been two days. So my body just is not a producer. So my um, breasts are strictly for recreational purposes only, I guess. And they're not for my babies. Which, thank goodness that I live in a time now when the formula is as good as it is so that I don't have to worry about them and making sure that they're getting the nutrition that they need. So that has been kind of our whirlwind. We've been, he's been on the Billy Light for two days and then my doctor texted me um, Friday night, today is Saturday, texted me Friday night and said that his Billy Rubin levels were down enough that we could take him off of that. So now I actually get to hold him so I'm enjoying snuggling him because for two days and two nights pretty much and another half a day he was pretty much on the billy light the entire time and that was through Thanksgiving and the day after the day before Thanksgiving Thanksgiving and half of the day after so it has been kind of a rough start and that's kind of why we've just been trying to make sure that he's okay and that he is getting everything that he needs but now we are doing good. <laughs> We're working on sleeping. He was awake pretty much all last night and then he's slept most of the day even though we try to keep him awake. It hasn't been working. 
So if you guys have any tips on that, that would be great. I know newborns, you can't really sleep train newborns, but that would be great if you guys have any ideas. Anyway, I wanted to give you guys an update. Thanks so much. We'll put in some clips from the Billy Light and just different things um, from the last little bit at the end of this. Thanks so much for watching. We'll see you again next time. Bye. What do you think of this baby?